four chefs, three courses, only one chance to win. The challenge? Create an unforgettable meal using the items hidden in these mystery baskets before time runs out. Here, four unprofessional chefs will compete against each other and the clock to see who will reign supreme. This is CCA Chopped, Celebrity Edition. But first, let's meet our panel of culinary experts. These experts have come to us from the prestigious Commonwealth Charter Academy, a K-12 public cyber charter school. First celebrity chef from CCA, Matt. Matt, introduce yourself. Uh, I teach sixth grade at Commonwealth Charter Academy. I teach world cultures and geography. And my favorite food is probably meatballs. Excellent. Meatballs. Maybe there'll be some meatballs here today. Ashley? Hi, my name is Ashley Holsizer, and I'm a high school math teacher. And my favorite food is pizza. And Roberto. And I'm Roberto Vittori. I'm Executive Vice President of Operations, and I work out at CCA's Capital Campus in Harrisburg, and I love desserts. Fantastic. Well, let's meet our celebrity chefs. Bring them out. In this kitchen, you will be completing three separate courses, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. But the thing is, you must use all of the items in your mystery baskets. Don't open them yet, don't do that yet. You may, however, also use any items you find in the pantry or refrigerator. You will have 30 minutes to complete the first course, which is the appetizer. Then your food will be judged by our culinary experts. And unfortunately, one of you will not be making it to the next round. You will be chopped. On the count of three, you may open your mystery basket. One, two, three. Oh, what is this now? <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Do that. Your time starts now. I have no idea what any of this is. Where's the cheese? There's no cheese to fold in. All right. That's good. Let me turn on. Chef, how's it going over here? What, what are you doing with the bacon? <laughs> I'm cooking it the only way I know how. Oh, there I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, all right, yeah. Does anybody know what this is? <laughs> We're good. Moira, have you found any cheese yet? I'm not sure what this patty thing is. Moira, use your brain, Moira. And Miss Princess, what have you done with the bacon? Well, I'm chopping it up. It's going to be the bee's knees. I'll tell you that much. Going to fry it up. OK. I'm curious Machismo to see. got the other working? The other it was working, things. however, my can lid popped off, so I guess I'm just going to stab it. <laughs> it should work, right? Machismo, too strong for his own good. Broke the can of, of beans. I am Machismo Ombre, real name JT Frederick Unger, also known as the original Macho Man. I tag teamed with a man named Randy Poffo in 1972 in the Georgia territories. I, of course, being the Macho Man at the time, but Randy stole my identity, stole my girlfriend, Miss Elizabeth, and left me penniless. Now, you realize you're on a, a cooking show. Uh, uh, what's your experience as a, as a, as a chef? Wait, uh, a cooking show? <laughs> my agent said this was called Chopped. I thought it was a wood cutting competition. Uh, why did I pack 12 flannels? I, I've i never been much for cooking other than protein shakes, tuna packets, and raw potatoes. 
so, judges, what are you thinking so far? Uh, I'm just, I'm kind of interested to see where everybody goes with this. Uh, one of the things I noticed right away is like, we have slab bacon here, chopped bacon there. He went with like pretty finely diced bacon and he's already mixing the quinoa in. Um, he's going with slab bacon, yeah, bacon on a as well, well, it looks like. Some good nice skills. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. This Very is pretty impressive so far. So far. Yeah, it's like Sweet. Green bell pepper. I see some spices in the mix there in the middle station as well. I'm not sure if it's but... What is this patty stuff? Well, most of these materials are from AgWorks at CCA. Well, as much as I love that, it would be better if they came with a label so that us less experienced. Can opener was made to open cans. However, what in the world? It was real, um, uh, real powder. Let's see here. Oh, real powder. <laughs> <laughs> see what we're we gonna do like that, pantry. right? Here's <laughs> my board. Here we've got sweet potato there. The chip over there immediately threw in, I think, the quinoa and maybe the chickpeas right in. Ground beef? Oh, you got any ground beef? <laughs> I can fix it. Oh, I need that Princess Tiana, is this something that you've oh, made before? Well, I pour my oil I'm sorry. Have you made this before? It's just baked right now. And Chip, I don't know if you heard that. Those were uh, those were some fighting words over there. Chip, what do you think about machismo? Have you ever met someone like that before from the professional wrestling industry? Well, clearly he has no children. <laughs> I think he's got a few things in his life he could fix. 18 minutes left. 18 minutes left on the clock, everyone. There. Don't forget, plating the dish is part of the time constraints. Yeah. Using the, the orange juice on the tortilla before she fries them up a little bit. Hey, Chip is drinking the orange juice as he goes along. Piece of like what? I've been cleaning the whole. I think this will be Medic. come back into the Medic. mainstream though. This could be your way back in. Wall. This could be your way back in. Well, good luck. Look, look, you made a mess, Moira. I'll kind of to probably degrease a little bit. Much better. Up there, no. And I'm almost there. I feel like it's pretty good. Yes. I feel like it's pretty Ooh. hard. Almost there. One minute remaining, so make sure everything is getting on the plate. Don't forget there are three judges. Chippy, Chippy, get out of my way! Four, three, two, one, Chippy. hands up! Good job! Congratulations, Woo. chefs! <sighs> now let's bring your food to the judges. Now we've reached the portion of the show where our culinary experts will judge the first dish. Machismo, you're up first. Well, I've never seen any of these ingredients except for the bacon, and I chose the sweet potatoes as my starch. I reduced the garbanzo beans in the citrus medley of lemon and orange juice, added some ginger and cinnamon, and fried the bacon with the garden burger to make sure I removed any excess non-masculinity from that dish whatsoever. So everything should have a tangy, bacony taste. Sounds delectable. Judges? Now, is this something that you used to eat while you were a wrestler or? Uh, sweet potatoes, mainly raw because I was living out of my car half the time. Um, everything else is just a luxury. Well, they say wrestling is fake, but this was real good. So, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, I really like the sweet with the bacon. Great taste there. Awesome. Um, I, the presentation of the burger uh, was not what I wanted to see. I wanted to do something a little bit more with that, but the taste was where it should be. So, that was so plus points on that. Well, Machismo, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, judges. So, next up, we have Princess Tiana. 
Please tell the judges what, what you made for us. Well, you have a Mardi Gras meatball there with a, a spicy Cajun garbanzo being spread on a crostini. Judges, dig in. <laughs> Let's start with Miss Ashley. Oh, I thought it was awesome. Um, I did like the presentation. I just probably would like to see something a little bit brighter on the plate yeah. to give it some color. But other than that, I, I liked it. Princess Tiana. Yes. You may move to the next area Thank and we'll bring you. in Chip Gaines. Thank you very much. All right, now next up is Chip Gaines. Chip, can you tell us what you made the judges today? Sure. I combined three of our favorite meals, burgers, Italian, and Mexican to make our fixer appetizer. I think compote is a word, but the sauce is pineapple juice. I guess that's what it was. Mixed with some mashed garbanzo beans, bacon and basil and some lime. Little salsa verde on the top to bring in the Mexican, but I hope you like it. He paused. <laughs> he did pause. There was a pause. <laughs> Good. What are we thinking? Roberto, what do you think about this pizza from Chip? Well, when it comes to imagination, in terms of complexity, if I had to compare it to a building project, this is about a birdhouse. It's a little bit higher than a toolbox, but we're certainly not talking, you know, makeover here. But the, the taste is there, and that's what's important. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a birdhouse, man. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you, Chip. And next up, our final celebrity chef, Miss Moira Rose. Moira, now you're not known to be a fantastic chef that I know of. Well, today I'm serving you chipotle bacon hummus with fried tortillas with an orange glacé. Bon appetit. I'm not sure what hummus They're not reacting. Is. There's not much of a reaction, They're but it could reacting. be a good thing. It could be a good thing, I'm not sure. I'm still stuck on hummus. <laughs> <laughs> like a mousse. Did you also say glaze? Yes. The tortillas were marinated in the orange juice prior to sauteing and frying. Culinary expert Matt, what are, you, what are you thinking? I'm pretty impressed. I really like the chipotle kind of feel to the hummus. Um, I eat a decent amount of hummus and I like that it has a good amount of kick to it. Um, I'm a little biased there. I lean towards things that do have a little bit of a kick, but for me it's a win, and I thought the plating was really, really good. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thank Mara. you. Well, judges, we have completed the first course, the appetizer. And what are your reactions? What, what do you find positive about this first course? They, they were all, I thought they were all really good. I thought it was interesting, all of the different angles they took. Um, I think we kind of agreed, where is plating was the best, right? Yes, definitely. Um, and then chips plating probably was the worst, but I thought the pizza was really creative. Um, well, I think like with Mochismo, uh, he kind of left the burger as a little bit like an afterthought on the side of the plate, so he really didn't incorporate it too much. Um, but I mean, I really did like his flavoring. Of yeah, and the rest of his plating yeah. I thought was really good with the big slices yeah. of sweet potato. I think that um, Princess Tiana, she did really nice with her flavoring of oh, her meatball. That was really good. That was very good. creative yes. as well. Yes, and I love that she brought one of the ones that really brought an outside ingredient to the table here because everybody else, you can sort of see that it was part of what was part of the regular ingredient. So she really mm -hmm. brought something completely different. Here. Yeah, the Creole. Yeah. Well, excellent. Have we come to a decision? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Well, let's bring out the contestants. Chefs! Welcome back, chefs. The judges have thought long and hard about this decision. But unfortunately, one of you will not be making it to the next round. Under this cloche is an item that belongs to one of you. And the person that will not be joining us is Hello and welcome CCA families, students, staff, and guests. I'm sorry to interrupt this program, but I just wanted to take a few minutes to say hello. 
My name is Tom Longenecker, and I'm the president and CEO of Commonwealth Charter Academy, also known as CCA. Last school year was an amazing year, thanks to you. CCA was a most most sought after online school in Pennsylvania. We're truly grateful that you have chosen CCA to be a partner in your child's education, and we look forward to continuing to serve you and your family. Our students and families will make CCA the school that it is today, and we thank you for your trust that you've placed in us. For those of you hearing about CCA for the first time, we are a K-12 public cyber charter school that is available to all school-aged children across Pennsylvania at no cost to families. Most importantly, CCA has 20 years of experience in providing online education. This is what we do. We are the only cyber charter school that has made the commitment to create a proprietary learning management system, our digital school, and teacher-created courses that fully meet state standards. Our program has also been independently reviewed and has earned the Middle States Accreditation Standard. Students who enroll in CCA receive everything they will need to be successful, all at no cost to families. This includes a laptop, headset, all curriculum materials and supplies. CCA even helps with your internet costs. We listen to our families, and because of your suggestions, we will be implementing changes to our programs and services to better serve your family and meet your needs. We will be offering more teacher-led instruction. At CCA, you always know what your students are being taught. We will also be reducing class sizes to ensure that every student receives the personal attention he or she deserves. This August, we will be launching Edio Go, an app for smartphones and tablets that caretakers and families can download to receive alerts, communicate with teachers, and track your, style, your child's progress. Some of your students may not be as excited about this new feature. Every student, both new and returning, will be able to request a second computer monitor to connect to their CCA issued laptop. This is a huge improvement to the student experience. We will be also resuming in-person field trips this fall. Already, we have 700 field trips planned that will add to your students' learning and social experiences. Last but not least, Several third-party courses will be replaced by classes created and taught by CCA teachers in content areas such as world languages, health and physical education, advanced placement, business, finance, and information technology. As you see, we, we have heard you and we're improving to meet your family's needs. This is how school should work. I don't wanna take up too much time, but I want you to ensure you that CCA is committed to providing your child with high quality, customizable and flexible educational opportunities. Take care, enjoy the rest of your summer and enjoy the rest of this program. We look forward to seeing you back in September. Bye bye. Hi, Mrs. Azalina, elementary school principal here at CCA, the free public cyber charter school that can instantly patch, bond and seal your students relationship with school. CCA is no ordinary school. Its learning management system, Edio, virtually welds itself to any student's learning style. One size fits all can cause major damage, but CCA grips on tight and bonds instantly. CCA's belief in family involvement is so powerful, it even works underwater. Now you can repair gaps in your learner's education without draining them. CCA is perfect for any learner grades K through 12. And for emergency situations, CCA keeps its grip, even in the toughest conditions. Whoa! Rigidity can cause big damage, but CCA is super flexible, so your learner can attend school anywhere there's internet. Whoa! CCA's powerful mission creates a super strong teacher-student relationship where families can ask for help anytime they need it. Yee doggy! Just visit CCAeducate.me and imagine everything you can do with the power of CCA. Previously on Chopped. Sure. One minute remaining, so make sure everything is getting on the plate. Don't forget there are three judges. Timmy, Timmy, get out of my way! Yeah, I don't know. I, I, this is really hard. They had negative responses when they were eating my food. 
really well, rather, at a lot of different things. Have we come to a decision? I think so. I think so. Let's bring out the contestants. Chefs! Welcome back, chefs. The judges have thought long and hard about this decision. But unfortunately, one of you will not be making it to the next round. Under this cloche is an item that belongs to one of you. And the person that will not be joining us is Machismo. Oh! Machismo, you've been chopped. Judges? Um, so this was tough, super tough. We debated for a long time. Um, everybody's was really good. The thing that stuck out, um, the burger was kind of somewhat neglected, although it was cooked in the bacon and some of the other items, that wasn't quite enough. And then the other thing that came up was um, the chickpeas were sort of just as is. You could, they just tasted like chickpea, didn't, didn't really bring in any other hints of the other ingredients or what you added. We did all really like the sweet potatoes, how they were plated, the flavor that they brought to it we thought was really good. Um, but that's where things kind of came down on this one. Machismo, I'm sorry. You'll have to hand in your chef's coat and apron. <laughs> you can take this pretty good. But she's well, please leave your pants on. Well, I appreciate the opportunity, but obviously the judges don't know what good food tastes like. This was supposed to be my comeback to the main scene again, but unfortunately, I guess it's back to Tijuana with me. I'll regroup, and maybe I'll be back next season. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And now we've come to round two, the entree course. Again, these chefs will have 30 minutes to complete the entree, but they must use the hidden items in the mystery baskets. They may also use any materials they may find in the pantry or refrigerator. Contestants? you may open the mystery baskets. Ah. In it, you will find Swiss chard from Agworks at CCA. You will find root beer, mozzarella cheese, and bratwursts. Hey. Again, chefs, 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Yeah, these, these tools are not going to work for me. I've never cooked that. Go marching in. I'm going to have to up my game here. Machismo. We hardly knew ye. Real. He will be missed. Oh, Lord, I won't. Yeah. Princess Tiana, how's it going? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Thinking a little Definitely pasta. not this. I'm going to get this meat All right. started. A little pasta. Judges, what are you thinking? We have, we have Swiss chard. We have bratwurst. We have mozzarella cheese and root beer of all things. What, 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 do you, what are some things that go through your mind that, that you could make using this? So I think, I think the root beer is gonna be the tough one. I do like the idea of a pasta dish. That's kind of one of the things I was sort of leaning to. Um, but again, the root beer is gonna be a little tough. I, I would think maybe you purple. would either. It's purple. I, I think that the root beer would be probably good in like a pasta sauce. Just add like a little different kind of thing and like a little flavor, make it a little bit sweeter too. So. Well, I think this round may favor uh, Chip, you know, with the pizza yesterday, oh, yeah. he's got a lot of ingredients that are sort of just that basic cooking ingredients. Mm -hmm. so. Now that Swiss chard came from CCA's Agworks Labs in, uh, in Harrisburg, so those are fresh. We grow those, uh, we have a hydroponic, aeroponic, and aquaponics lab. If you haven't been, it's a beautiful lab for you to come in and see and learn about all the different careers in agriculture. And I'm not sure if Chip knows what Swiss chard is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Chip Gaines. I'm from Waco, Texas. My wife and I have a pretty popular furniture store down there. Uh, we branched out and, and made a 
a restaurant that focuses on breakfast because that's my love language. Um, but somebody thought it was pretty cool and we started redoing houses and I guess we kind of have a show now uh, called Fixer Upper. But uh, we've got great kids, love my life, and uh, I'm just trying to demonstrate all the things that she taught me in the kitchen. Um, so here I am. Just making good use of the partners. I see Moira scoring her bratwurst, so that's a good idea. Get that heat evenly distributed. Cook, 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 cook. Woo! That's hot, baby. Everyone is laser focused for this Andre round. Yeah. No one sure wanting to go right. home like machismo. <laughs> I see some sizzling over there. Some sizzling flying boiling yeah. water over there. <laughs> yes. I don't hear much trash talk today. Yeah, not as not as much trash talk yeah. today. Yeah, they're all more focused. Anybody need some Work. free chilies? Sure. Oh, chili. Oh, Thanks chili. To make chili. Not today, though. Moira's got some lemon. There's a, uh, a minor boil over there. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a mess. Getting the fettuccine out with a fork. I think we'll do the throw it to the wall test. Nope. Oh, nope. that would have been perfect. Throw so it to the window. It's much better than the baby. What's that? What is your favorite test? Are you just one of the No, I'm 100% one that just eats it. Oh, yeah, I eat it too. <laughs> Princess Tiana getting out some bread. I believe she used bread in her previous course. Ooh, Ooh, garlic, garlic bread. bread. Right. Is there time, though? Almost 10 minutes remaining. Yikes. Wow. So it looks like a robot from TechWorks at CCA is now transferred in Moira Rose's son, David, to maybe give her some tips on cheese? I don't know. Alexis! Alexis! <sighs> Alexis! Mother, 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 Alexis is not here. For the last time, she's in Portugal with her boyfriend and very happy. David, there's broken cheese that I need to fold in, and I don't remember how to fold it in. Mother, we, we went over this a long time ago. You, you, you just fold it in. You just fold in the cheese. I am, I am right now in a, the most beautiful spa on the Alps. I don't have time for this. David, look, it's broken. Look, how, how do you fold in the broken cheese? Can we Bro make it whole again? Broken cheese? I don't, I have no, I've never seen broken, broken cheese. Broken cheese, Lou? I've what never seen I broken have? cheese. I'm, I, I get mash it together into one piece. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, goodbye, David. You are goodbye, mother. Help. Goodbye. Um, how does this thing even work? Where am I going? What's over here? And what does Chip have going on over here in the KitchenAid mixer? Looks like he's making some mashed potato. A little mashed potato going on. A little bit of Texas goodness. All right. Yeah. I would steer clear of that. Still trying to see what Chip's trying to put together. I'm not too sure. Chip. So we got Chip over in the corner on a KitchenAid mixer. And then we've got two pots here, three pots there. I, I'm seeing all the pieces, but I'm not yet figuring out where he's going. Hamburg yeah. potatoes over there? Ah. Yes, I think he did. Is that honestly I a thought sanitary? I saw potatoes. <laughs> it looked like it looked like when I was over there, it looked like a cross between mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm hoping he doesn't like all the different things he has going on here. I don't yeah. think my apron is going to be white anymore. I'm kind of making it like the center, like the star. And Tiana's mozzarella is in her sauce, right? Is that, is that where? I think that was the three cheese blend she grabbed, but that may have mozzarella in it. I don't know. What a cool Good. I think that was as well. Three minutes. Chip, it looks like you're doing pretty good on time. Three minutes remaining. All right, so we have a removal of cream sauce. Part of the judging criteria. Hot behind. Did you just say hot behind? I did, Chippy. I wasn't looking at yours, though. <laughs> One minute remaining, so make sure everything now, right? is getting on the plate. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Drinking the root beer. <laughs> that confidence, will that take it to the next round? Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, chefs.
Fantastic. Congratulations, chefs. Congratulations. Now let's take your courses to the judges. Let's see what they have to say. And now to see what the judges have to say about this. First up, Princess Tiana. Princess Tiana, please let the judges know what you made for them. Okay, so here you have a little Cajun pasta with a little froggy kiss of spice. So I didn't want to do too much, so um, enjoy. So I used the root beer in the sausage and made it like a little glaze and uh, like a Parmesan creamy sauce with the fettuccine. This is so pretty, the plating here. I have to I yeah, know. the plating, definitely top notch. I have a hard time not taking giant bites of pasta, <laughs> so. Judge Roberto. Roberto, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts about Princess Tiana's entree? Well, the, the plating was wonderful. Um, I like the use of all the ingredients and uh, the Cajun pasta. There's a good sweet flavor to the sausage, to the, to the bratwurst. It really added to the creaminess of the um, of the pasta sauce, so I enjoyed it. Princess Tiana, thank you very much. And then our next chef, Chip Gaines. Chip, can you tell the judges what you made for them today? Sure, so this is called Don't Mess With Texas. Um, everybody knows the chicken fried steak, chicken fried chicken. I figure pork was somewhere in the middle, so you've got chicken fried pork, bratwurst, whatever you guys call it up here, some mashed potatoes, Texas people use cayenne pepper instead of paprika, so that's the red stuff on your plate. Um, and I added some collard greens with the mozzarella over top. Uh, and the, the sausage is a beer batter with oatmeal as well. Judges, what are we thinking? Let's start over here with Miss Ashley. Ashley, what are you thinking about this dish? Um, I like it. I'm not a big collard green person, but I like the flavor that you brought to it. So I like the flavor profile. Um, yeah, I like the bratwurst uh, created with frying it. I thought that was a great idea. Um, and the potatoes too, I thought it was, it was good. Fantastic, thank you. thank you. Thank you, Chip. And last but not least, our third contestant, Miss Moira Rose. Yes. Come on over here and, and let our judges know what you made for them today for your entree. Well, today I have some root beer glace sausage and some citrus root beer vinaigrette on your salad of Swiss chard and some bebe smashed potatoes with a little garnish of some rosemary. Sounds bon good, appetit. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Shall we uh, turn to the judges here and see what they have to say. Yes, please. I, I really like that rather than hiding the shard, you kind of displayed it and made that sort of a very integral part of what you did. I really liked the root beer vinaigrette, I think was very creative. That never even occurred to me to try and make like a salad dressing with it. Um, but the way you did it was really good. Well, Miss Moira Rose, thank you so much. And chefs, you may go back to the private room while the judges deliberate and find out who's going to get shot. Thank you. While our chefs are in their private room, our judges will deliberate to see who will be chopped. Judges, what do you think? This is really, really tough. Um, everybody did an exceptional job in this round across the board. I mean, everybody knocked it out of the park. I mean, I just think it was like really close. Um, I think that they did like a really nice job with having that bratwurst as their like main component and they really kind of transformed it in each dish. I think that might be the tiebreaker here. This taste was uh, pretty much even. Uh, each plate was different, uh, but it, they all tasted really great uh, for what they were, but it's that plating and creativity I think it's gonna make the difference in this round. Excellent. Do we have a decision? Yeah, I think we do. All right. Let's bring out the chefs. Well, chefs, the judges had a difficult, difficult decision to make. They thought long and hard about it, and they made a decision. There is one person not moving on to the next round, and that person is. Hi, Mr. R here. At AgWorks, they use fish waste to grow healthy fruits and vegetables, like magic, without soil or pesticides. For AgWorks, tilapia is a must. The waste goes deep down below the surface of the water, through pipes, to grow healthy fruits and vegetables. And it doesn't just work, it... CCA works!
That's right. And to prove that, I'll ruin my pants. And now Spot from TechWorks will clean it up. What? Sprick, are, are, are you telling me the dog is not programmed to clean my trousers? Is that what you're saying? That is what I'm saying. You know, I didn't talk to costume department at all. These are my trousers from home. We've got a little more to do, all right? No one's going to notice. No one's going to notice. Just, just take a bite of the pepper. You're going to feel better. It's pretty good. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to fly a drone? Well, TechWorks at CCA provides opportunities for students to work in emerging technologies, such as robotics, VR, and 3D printing. CCA Works allows you to channel your interests and create things out of your wildest dreams. So enroll now at CCAeducate.me. It doesn't just work, it... CCA Works! <laughs> Rick, I need to talk to you about my pants. Where are you going? Do our students really need a typical classroom to learn? Yes. Yeah. The answer is no. I can help parents make a choice for their students' schooling that's best for their family. How do you pronounce this? E-D-O? E-I-E-I-O. No. <gasps> Yes. Eddie-o? That's right. It just takes practice. It just takes practice. Zero doctor. It's a constant battle. Now everyone, pull out your phones. We're going to open Eddie-o Go. Who's ready? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. Use your thumbs. CCA can't save you money on your car insurance, but we can provide a quality education that meets your students' unique learning styles and prepares them for the future. Here at CCA, all materials are provided free of charge, including the laptop. We are never alone, and that is our strength. Because when we're doubted, we'll work as one. Where there are obstacles, we'll create opportunities. If we're not taken seriously, we'll prove that wrong. And if it doesn't fit our learning style, we change the lesson, not the student. We know things won't always go our way. And the world looks a little different now. But learning online has always been our way. Flexible learning environments, student-centered curriculum. Yeah, we have a responsibility to our learners and their families to provide a safe and quality education. And no matter what challenges we face, they will always make us stronger. Because nothing can stop what we can do together. We are CCA. Previously on Chopped. Are you done? Yeah, she's drinking a root beer. Drinking a root beer. <laughs> Up my nose. 10 seconds. This is really, really tough. Um, everybody did an exceptional job in this round across the board. I mean, everybody knocked it out of the park. So it's not like there's anything that stands out as far as um, none of them really lacked that much in anything. Excellent. Do we have a decision? Yeah, I think we do. All right. Let's bring out the chefs. Well, chefs. The judges had a difficult, difficult decision to make. They thought long and hard about it, and they have made a decision. There is one person not moving on to the next round, and that person is. 
Chip, you've been chopped. Chip chop. Well, this is a lot of fun. I know you girls will make something that I can eat once we're done to the dessert round. So thank you guys. Thank you, chef. Although everything tasted really great, um, it just all came down to presentation and creativity. Uh, it was very hard to judge everything since it tasted so well, but I think it just was like a little bit of a lack of creativity. But otherwise, I think you should leave with your head held high. You did a really nice job today. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome. Okay. I'm not surprised. Just a little disappointed. It was so much fun. Uh, made it a lot further than I thought I would. Um, but it is a lot like construction, where you've got to think about all the pieces to put together to, to build something that's got a good foundation. And I learned definitely a lot from this experience. And now we've come to the final course, dessert. Four chefs up, two chefs down. Now we have Princess Tiana and Miss Moira Rose. They will have 30 minutes to use all the items in their mystery baskets once again to create a delicious dessert. They may also use any items they find in the pantry or refrigerator. Contestants, let's take a look at the mystery items. In the mystery baskets for the final round are bananas, chocolate chip cookies, soda, and blackberries and there uh, there's there's supposed to be there's supposed to be basil sorry I, oh i am being told from my producer that the basil is being flown in via drone from techworks out of our pittsburgh location and here it comes my producers are assuring me that you will all get more than one leaf of basil flying spider that is the drum okay. that is the drum I see mighty big spiders in down in Norway. I thought you meant drone like Alexis just drones on and on she drones on she drones on and on okay that's different hmm. there we go are we gonna share that one sprig no you'll have more we have more drones coming okay 30 minutes on the clock the time starts now Princess Tiana, yes. which course do you think will be your favorite? Do you think dessert will this be your favorite? This is my favorite, dessert. I'm still thinking about what I'm doing here, as far as uh, what I'm making. I am Tiana, I'm also known as Princess Tiana. This is a reminder of my husband, Levine. I am from New Orleans, New Orleans is what we call it down there. And I am a chef, I have my own kitchen called Tiana's Place in New Orleans. Why, why do you think you should win? Why should you win this contest or over the others? Well, I'm a hard worker. My daddy always told me to work hard and dream big and you can do whatever you want to do. Dreams do come true in New Orleans. So I'm here to show you guys what New Orleans do down here. Moira Rose finding her way across the kitchen. And what are we doing here, Miss Moira? So Moira, how do you think you'll be incorporating the Coca-Cola into it's your legal. dessert? Or we haven't gotten there yet. Haven't gotten there yet. Again, it could be like that root beer, just sneaks up on you. Please me, Moira. Yeah, right. I'm so short! You know, I thought there would be more drama in the kitchen with a dramatic actress and a, you know, a princess, but everyone seems to be rather cordial and focused. I think they're just dialed in, you know, totally in the in the cooking zone in the kitchen. A little bit more blackberry. Give it that 
perfectly royal color. Got some butter simmering. Play on the station. I also realize now how uh, flammable Princess Tiana's dress probably is. So we, we certainly probably avoided <laughs> some yeah, problem. serious problems so far. Yeah. Talking about your hazards there. Wow. Would it be possible to put this in the freezer? I got you, Moira. Thank you. Now on to my bananas. <laughs> Not sure how much sugar, but you can't go wrong with sugar. Right, sugar? Uh, who are you? What do you do? Well, I'm Moira Rose film and television star from Sunrise Bay. Perhaps you've heard of me. Hey, sugar. Just 15 <laughs> minutes <laughs> remaining. No problem. With a little now bit we're halfway there. Ooh, okay. Starting to see this come together mm -hmm. now. And we still have the cookies okay. here, so. Looks like Princess Tiana has made it to the stage where we're trying to figure out the mixer, just like Moira Rose had an issue with it's later stuck. before. I wish I could help. Pumpkin spice, some cinnamon. Oh, no. Cinnamon, not me. Once I need it, it's yes. There we go. Ooh, a little bit of sass there. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, cinnamon okay. on nutmeg. Is that what this was? Yes, sir. Ooh, I think this is like my favorite round. <laughs> and you can't go wrong with dessert. I mean, honestly. We're using some crushed up cookies here to, to form a base. Now, Moira, will the cheesecake then go on top of these dishes? Um, the cheesecake is its own separate dessert. I We're going to have two desserts today. Whoa. Dueling desserts. I guess the question will be if it all ties together. Oh, this one. Chefs, we have one minute remaining. Thirty seconds, chef. What is that we're putting on there, Moira? Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, chef. Fantastic. <laughs> well done. Oh, that Lord. completes the third course dessert. We will see who will go home and who will become the chopped champion. And now the final judging round. Two celebrity chefs remaining, Miss Moira Rose and Princess Tiana. Let's see what the judges have to say about the final course dessert. Moira? Please tell the judges what you made for dessert. Well, today I have a dessert smorgasbord for you. First, we have bananas foster with a chocolate chip cookie crumble on the bottom. And then to the side of that, you'll have blackberry cheesecake with a little bit of lemon zest and basil to bring out the brightness. Now, I noticed they all started with the banana. Was that the right choice for them to make? <laughs> what do we think for Moira's dessert? Roberto? Well, they both taste good, but neither of them really stands out. And I am struggling a little bit with the very different desserts. I mean, I, I like a lot of one-bite desserts, but this is a lot of one-bites. Ashley? Um, I kind of prefer the um, banana one. I, I don't know if it's just like I like the flavor profile of it, but I mean the cheesecake's pretty good too. So I probably would have just stuck with one dessert, but I like how you want the extra mile and try to give us two. So I actually really like the basil in the cheesecake. I feel like that was the, a good use of it. Um, I thought both were pretty good, pretty solid. I thought the cheesecake was a little bit better. Um, for the banana, Foster, I would have liked to see, I think, a little bit more of a base on the bottom. I couldn't really taste the chocolate chip cookies too much, and I did kind of dig around for them, but granted, I also ate one of your cookies, so. Um, I also did like the cinnamon dusting on the, 
dishes as well as the plate. I thought that was a nice touch with the plating. Well, Moira, thank you so much. And now, Princess Tiana. I'm really nervous about this one. Okay. Well, what did you make for the judges? So I made some banana, banana raspberry bread pudding. That was a mouthful. Um, with a raspberry cola basil reduction. And there's a cookie um, crumble crust as well. The basil's in the, um, in the cream cheese topping as well. Oh, is it hot? You didn't blow it or nothing. Now, do you feel you had enough time for those two? I hope so. All right, judges. What do we think? Miss Ashley? I like the black, the black, oh my gosh, mouthful. Me too. I never speed it. I agree. <laughs> that could be a good thing, yeah. I like the um, blackberry and basil. I can really like taste that. Good. Yeah. Um, and I've never had bread pudding before, but um, I would eat it again after eating this. So um, I did see like the middle of it does look like a little bit runny, but um, other than that, it was good. I think the thing that really topped it off was the sauce that you put on top. I really like that. I thought it kind of tied it all together, and but not in a way that it overpowered any of the other flavors. You could still taste, I could really taste the bananas and the berries, the, like all of it really had a presence, but nothing overpowered anything else. And I really think that's courtesy of the sauce that you put on top. Excellent. And Roberto? Well, your plating was beautiful. The reduction is delicious. Um, and you did a great job with the bread pudding. Uh, the, the blackberries did seem like a little bit of an afterthought, but they did well in there because they didn't overpower your bread pudding. Uh, did a nice job. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Princess Tiana. Thank you. You may both go back to the private room while the judges deliberate and figure out who gets chopped and who becomes the chopped champion. Well, judges, we've made it to the final round. One more person's going to have to go home, but we will have a champion. What are your thoughts? Well, this is the final round. You really have to go above and beyond, or you're going home. So yeah, you got to um, bring it. Yep. And uh, I don't know. I, I think for me, it's a little bit of an easy decision here because of the way of mixing all the ingredients into one dessert is what makes a difference here for me between the two contestants. Honestly, though, like I know that Moira gave us two desserts, but her one dessert I thought was a little bit better than Princess Tian. Is that? Um, that banana dessert, I think that was my favorite out of all three of those separate dishes. But I mean, did she actually follow the challenge with, you know, exceeding at one dish? I, I don't really know. So for me, I would call Tiana the winner because here's, here's a couple things. The two desserts, I did think they were both pretty good, but besides that, there wasn't a whole lot to the plating. Mm -hmm. Whereas Tiana, I mean, the reduction and how she swirled it around, that was that was really slick. That looked really nice. I thought it really accented, um, especially because it was just one small dish. I thought she did a really nice job of bringing it all together. And hers did, it tied together really nicely. Um, whereas we had did have the two separate dishes for um, Moira. Um, I was trying to think if there was a way to maybe combine those into one dish, maybe like a parfait, like kind of a stacked, might have been a way that she could have combined everything she did into one. You could do like cookie crumbs between and layer it. Um, but I would say I would give a slight edge to Tiana's bread pudding because it just came together so nicely where you could taste all of the ingredients, but none of them were overpowering. Do you think we have a decision? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Let's bring out the chefs. Well, chefs, we've made it to the end. The judges have made their decision. Again, very hard decision indeed. Unfortunately, one of you will be going home, but one of you will be the CCA Chop Champion. And the chef going home tonight is There once was a school that worked so hard, there was just no time for play. Are the kids even going to like this? But that all changed on this one particular day.
There's a time for work, and there's a time for play. It's playtime. How would it feel to be able to drop everything and go on a field trip anytime you wanted? Well, with two ways to play, you can go on a virtual field trip one day and an in-person field trip the next. So, what are you waiting for? Find us in the community section of Edio today. We are CCA. Hello, CCA. I'm Roberto DeTore, Executive Vice President of Operations here at the school. A piece of advice shared with me a while back is that if you're making remarks to a group and you're standing between them and the show or the food to make sure those remarks are short. Well, since this is a show about food, I want to make my remarks real short. I just wanted to take a moment and thank you for being part of our family and for reminding you that if you ever have any questions about who we are as a school and what we do and what your kids are learning, to feel free to reach out to your assistant principal, to your principal, or even feel free to reach out to me. We'll make sure that we get you the information that you need, either through access through Edio or a meeting with one of our administrators or educators here at CCA. Again, thank you for being part of CCA and look forward to another fun school year together. It's easy to have tech support and forget about it, but the more you learn about tech support, the more helpful you might find it. Like how you only thought you had support for this. Emergency detected. When you've also got support for this. <gasps> or how you may think you've only got support for this. Login denied. But not for this. Or this. Or this. Or that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's actually too far. Just be nice to your laptop, okay? CCA's tech support. They can fix a thing or two because they know a thing or two. Talk to CCA Tech Support today and see what support they can offer. Hi, I'm CCA's Mr. Oh. Hi, I'm CCA's Mr. R. At CCA, we are always on the forefront of innovation and advancement when it comes to education. But as we continue to grow, our technological capabilities grow as well. We have 23 state-of-the-art servers in our main clusters. These servers have a combined 22 terahertz of processing power, 2 terabytes of RAM, and over 1 petabyte of storage capacity. We have over 40,000 active users in Edio. We have Boston Dynamics robotic dogs and Doosan robotic arms to allow students to... One second. How are we going to get the server room power on now? <sighs> Take a break. I got this. Previously on Chopped. Four chefs, three courses, only one chance to win. 30 seconds, chef. But again, every decision so far has been tough. Like Yeah, and we also have to think of 
about, you know, with the appetizer round, the entree, and the dessert, I mean, this is the prize winning round, so we have to encompass all of those dishes to get together. Do you think we have a decision? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Let's bring out the chefs. Well, chefs, we've made it to the end. The judges have made their decision. Again, a very hard decision indeed. Unfortunately, one of you will be going home, but one of you will be the CCA Chop Champion. And the chef going home tonight is... Moira. I'm sorry you've been chopped. But that means Princess Tiana is the CCA Chopped Champion. Congratulations. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much. Uh, judges, do we have any feedback for Moira before she goes? Well, all three rounds were really difficult to choose, and uh, this last round was, was no difference. Um, I think what came down to it on the last round is the combination of all the ingredients into one single dessert. Each of your desserts individually was fantastic. You could have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bread pudding, but combining it all into one is really what the challenge is about. But in addition to that, we also wanted to look back at where we were with the first round and the second round with the appetizer and the entree. And all combined, Tiana, your three meals were towards the top, and so that really pushed you over the edge. Moira, I'm sorry you've been chopped. Thank you for your time. Princess Tiana, you've made it through the appetizer course. You've made it through the entree. You've made it through the dessert. And you are now the Supreme CCA Chopped Champion. Oh, thank you. It was so hard. I felt like I went through a war. And as a result, you get a prize. And you are awarded with your own butcher's block of knives. Oh, thank you. Wonderful. So what do you think you'll be doing with this, with this, with this prize? I'll be chopping up all kinds of vegetables and, and, and herbs and from, hopefully from CCA. Do I get a, a stock of that as well? No, just, oh. just, just knives. Oh, all right, just thank knives. you, I appreciate it. What does it mean to you that, that you've won? Everything, I, I, I really like winning. I liked um, that I, I wished upon a star for this moment and it, and it really came true. Dreams really come true. I really do believe that. So all you boys and girls out there, you just wish upon that star. You work really hard and you can win too. So thank you so much. From CCA, I'm Mr. R. Have a good night.